Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. I am feeling like I had to press record and share this with anyone who may be grieving. If you're grieving the loss of someone, here's the top three things I want you to know, and they're going to be very left field. It's not the way anybody explains grief. But I am all about shifting your life and I've been through it. And the top three things I feel you need to know deeply in your heart. Number one, they're not gone. They're not gone. They didn't die in the way we think like they're gone. They're more with you now. I promise you need to hear this. They are more with you now than they ever were in person. Okay, please know that. It's this concept, like a ceiling fan. When it's stopped, you see all of the blades. Put it on the first frequency, we'll call it, right? A rotation, it's just vibing at a different way. You can see them. Second, third, Whipping around. You can't see the blades anymore, but you know they're there. Same thing. You've got to know that they have just transitioned into a deeper, more pure frequency energy. It's orbs. It's they're a soul again. As we are, and this is something to accept, you too are a soul borrowing this body, the vessel, to have a human experience. But we all come from the other side. We all come from another dimension, whatever. As a human, we can struggle all day and with words to identify what I feel like we just got to know. Please just know, <laughs> number two, it's your job to heal so that they can have their peace. <laughs> I remember when I lost my mom and my dad and my oma and my opa and then my grandma and cousins. And, and you know what? It was about not being selfish because... Yes, there's a grief process, and yes, it's okay to go through all of the stages, and sometimes at once, and all over the place, and it's not a process. In essence, it's, I call them grief moments as almost like contractions. You know, when you're in it, you can't control when you're going to have a moment of this intense feeling on all different levels um, that we have to go through, but accepting that they are still here and they're on the other side trying to reach us to say I'm at peace I'm in pure love and light I am completely good and I can see everything now clearly of what I could have done and should have done and I'm sorry but I am at peace they are resting they are in complete pure, divine love and light. There is no human emotions. That's just pure clarity and love. And they want so bad as they look down on us, not down with, beside us, beside, behind us, around us. And they look at us with that divine love and light and they want so much for our souls to feel the peace that they now have. And if we can accept that they're not gone, that they're there, then the only thing we're grieving is the fact that we, <laughs> I don't got them anymore, <laughs> right? And that moves on to what the third thing I think we all need to realize that this really is all about you. It's all about us being able to accept that uh, it's our job to let go. And what was the little note I said? It's not the loss. 
that's hurting us so much. Okay, number three is accepting that it's all about us and it's not necessarily this loss that's activating all of this grief and pain within us. This got deep when I had to take away all the layers, I call it, of the onion to get to the core of this process. It was asking myself, like, what? Attachments did I have? What attachments did I have that I now need to let go of? And that maybe were not, in essence, as much as I loved it or whatever, Maybe it wasn't necessarily the best thing for me. And now with it gone, I can look at that dynamic. And I can ask myself, what? That way. What? Oh, what was left unsaid? That was a big one. Because... Again, it's not about the loss. It was about me. What was I grieving? And when you dig deep, it was a lot of it. What, what didn't I say? What needed to be said? And because I am so sure that they're still right here with us, more so again than they could be in human form because they're like 100% right here with you in pure love and light. So it was so fun, in essence, to really have that conversation with them while I was bleeding, while I was going through of it, while I was crying, I could talk to them as if the right here, help me understand, help me say what I need to be said, what needs to be said. And I could feel, I could feel them with me and I could feel the answers coming and the, I'm sorry and please forgive me and you're forgiven. I got that. You can get that if we just get brave enough to, to start to face it with them and heal together because they're already at peace and they can see it all clearly. So why not at this point reach out and heal together? And then I think the most final and important step to this is what, oh, oh, what can't you make sense of? So much of it, if it's shocking, if it's shocking, there's so many layers to the <laughs> what you can't make sense of and all of the questions and all of the what ifs. And so it's really important if you're going through this stage of grief to really understand what you can control and what you can't. And again, go back maybe through some of those things and say, you know, what attachments do I need to release and what was left unsaid and, and really move through that process. Like write the letter, write a letter to them, have those conversations, allow yourself to go, just go through it all like contractions. They come up and then ah, you got to get through it and release in any way you can, but keep coming back to the conclusion that they're at peace, absolutely at peace now and want you to know that and that they're still with you and they are sorry and they'll do anything they can to help you heal because that's all they can do now is share their love and light. And it's up to us. It's going back to all these three steps back to us to let them go heal because it's about us, not the loss. And then going through all of those stages to unpack it, digest it release it. I know that this is not easy, but I know it's possible to come out of the other side of this and have peace. The same knowing that they're sharing that peace they have now with you. When you get past all of the stages of the human part of us letting go, they're at peace and they're with you. You're not alone. If you need to ask for signs, ask for signs or pay attention to them. If you're watching me, if you should subscribe and look at some of my videos I share about like, do you believe in angels and how to ask for clarity, how to ask for signs and watch for them. This is something that we can do on the daily to help us through that process of letting go. 
especially of our loved ones. It is possible. And I'm sending everybody so much love and light, love and light, love and light to shower you as you come into the clarity and knowing that they're not gone. They're here with you more now than they've ever been. And they want you to share that love and light and peace. Much love, much love, much love, much love. I hope that that helped anyone. Any piece of it, I hope if it helped one person, grateful. Much love, much love, much love as you heal. Heart hugs.